Today we're going to be looking at who should be KBA offseason MVP. So it's going to be between Steven and Sean, and we're going to look at their highlights. These are Stevens. So it is between cousin and cousin. Sean was the regular season MVP, but Steven won the championship. So it's going to be tough to decide who should be MVP because they both played really good. Steven uh, likes to shoot mostly and not, like, get real too close. But there is a difference in age. But still, Sean is a good player. So it's going to be tough to decide. But Steven's good at, like, pump fakes and stuff and faking people out. And he can shoot from pretty far. So it's going to be pretty tough. Now we're going to look at Sean's. He likes to shoot from the corner. He's also good at pump, uh, pumping f people out. And he's a good stealer. And Steven's a good rebounder. Sean is also pretty good at rebounding too. And Sean likes to shoot from the corner mostly. And um, he likes to pump fake. And he uh, has like this certain move that he does, which works pretty good. And his range is pretty decent. Um, especially for like his age. He can shoot from pretty far. But he definitely is usually the right corner is where he likes to shoot. But he has been working on trying not to shoot from the corner all the time. So, um, as you can see, Sean's good at pump faking. And that's, like, his farthest range, probably. Like, that's as far as he can shoot. He can almost shoot a corner three. Um... So he has pretty good range. And he's pretty good at like step backs. Steven's record is three and one and his total points are thirty-three. But Sean did play a couple more games. But Steven only lost one game and won three. And then Sean is five and one and forty six points total and uh Sean played six games, but Steven only played four. So that's kind of hard to decide, but they both only lost once, and that was against each other. And let's see what the other people think. So Rowan votes Steven, and Cullum votes Sean. So that makes it even harder to decide. So it is basically up to you guys to decide. So make sure to comment down below who you think the off-season MVP should be. So please do that because it will help us decide who should be off-season MVP because all the games are over. So please comment down below. Goodbye.